what I am going to be demonstrating is how to do a packing tape transfer. So when you do this, uh, you can either print something off from the internet, something that you've typed, or you can find images in a magazine. I have this one and a couple of other ones that I found. Um, these are going to be end up going on the covers of your portfolios. So we'll get started here. So what you want to do first is take your printed piece of paper or magazine and you're going to take um, just some packing tape. So go ahead and tear off a couple pieces and tape it over all of the ink that you're going to want. So what's going to happen is we're going to end up having transparencies um, that we can layer on top of each other um, and we'll end up putting them on your chipboard portfolios. I'm just going to put mine onto uh, this piece of Baltic birch wood that I have uh, just for demonstration purposes. Let's see if I can get this up. Go ahead and just start putting the tape over the ink parts that are printed onto the piece of paper. Cut that off. And you wanna try and make sure to not get any wrinkles in your tape. Um, if you do, it could make it so that the image doesn't show through completely, which could, I guess, possibly be an aesthetic choice that you wanted it to be that way. But I'd say for um, beginning uh, that you want to try and just get it on to the piece of paper as flat as possible. When you're covering the image, you want to make sure that your packing tape um, is layering over each other. Uh, you ultimately want to have a whole sheet of packing tape and this is going to make it so that your image all stays together. Okay, so after you get that all on there, you want to have um, something to uh, a smooth surface to go over the tape with so that you're really uh, making sure that the tape is adhering to the ink. So uh, a ruler works really well. You can use the back side of a spoon. That works really well too. Um, just something smooth and hard uh, that you can really get some pressure from to push, push the tape down onto your paper or your magazine. So. Do this. Okay, I think that probably should be pretty good. So now I am going to take my piece of paper. And just go ahead and just cut off these edges because I don't need them. And go ahead and cut off the top one too. All right. And then the next step is to put your paper and tape into water. You want to soak it for, oh, I'd say three to five minutes. So I have this tray of water. We're just going to go ahead and stick all of it in there. Just want the paper to get thoroughly wet. So our goal is that once this is finished, soaking all the way we're gonna pull it back out and we're gonna rub off the paper part of it and the ink should stick to um, the packing tape so we'll let that soak Alrighty, so while I was waiting, I went ahead and uh, did a couple more images. 
Uh, so I went ahead and taped over some ones from a magazine so that I'll be ready to do multiple images at the same time and be able to really start layering them. You want to make good use of your time. So, Alright, so we're going to pull this out of here. I can just flip it over like this actually. And you want to just use your fingers and the uh, the paper just rolls off of there really easy and that's why you want to leave it in there uh, for quite a while to soak because it just peels off really easy if it's nice and soaked all the way through so look at that so you see the writing has stuck to the tape and the paper is peeling off so I'll go ahead and take all this paper off You don't have to have it in the water when you do this, but I just don't really have a good place to put my pan right now. So... Alright, and voila, that is what it look li looks like. So we can go ahead and set this one aside to dry. All right, and then we can start working on the next one. So I have already uh, put tape, like I said, on top of these other ones. So same thing, just I have already went over it with my ruler to make sure that the tape is stuck down to the magazine nice and tight. Um, so we'll just put it in here and let it soak for another five minutes. Actually, we might as well just do all of these at the same time because that's there's no problem with that. And we will wait. Okay, so it has been about five minutes and we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to these ones that we did to our other one with the text on it. I'm gonna go ahead and use your fingers. The magazine that seems to be a little bit um, a little bit tougher than the paper, but it really is awesome what it does. The first time that I did this, I was pretty amazed, as I hope that you are too. Um, so, if it starts getting too dry, you can just dip your fingers in the water and it helps to peel it back a little bit easier. Um, let's see. Uh, one other thing that you can use, which would also help uh, to get off of the excess paper, would be a Brillo pad or some sort of a sponge that has kind of a, a rough side to it, like the green side of the green and yellow sponges, if you know what I mean. And, um, I don't have one with me right now, but it would help if you do have one available. So, in continuing on and uh, cleaning off these images, I came to this one and I just wanted to show an example of this. So I got the main uh, portion of the paper off, like the thicker part of the paper, but it's still not transparent, if you can see that. So um, I went and got a, a, a Scotch-Brite pad and 
if you use the scotch Bright pad, get it wet, and you use the green part of it, if you go along on the back side of the image, it is getting that paper that I can't seem to get off with my uh, fingers. So this is a really great tool to use. So if you can see it now, um, it's completely transparent. So this tool right here will make your life a lot easier. Voila, she's transparent. Awesome. So I'm just saying that about the Brillo pad, it is a really great tool, but the only thing is is that um, it will start to remove the ink from your image, so you need to be careful not to push too hard on the part that you want to leave behind. Um, with this dog you can see the uh, the line marks from the Brillo pad on it. So you want to just be careful when you're using this. I think that the best parts to use the Brillo pad on would be to go around the edges. I got all of my images ready and they are dry and so it is time to adhere them to my little board here. Um, your board is going to be a lot bigger than this but I'm just demonstrating how to do this technique so um, it's going to be the same thing except for you're going to work on a larger scale. So anyways, um, I have decided that I am not going to use a couple of the images that I did. I uh, really should have um, planned my image more before I did all the work of taking all the paper off, um, but you learn from your mistakes, so that's fine. Um, I am going to use the lead or the words, and then I'm going to use uh, the landscape, and then these little color blocks. So three layered images and um, so first what I'm gonna do is cut it down to the right size so um, the lettering is gonna go in the back um, and I would also do this you should do this too. plan out how everything is gonna be layered before you start gluing or cutting so I'm gonna do the letters uh, or the words first and then I'm going to do the image of the landscape on top of that. I think that I'm going to make it so that both of those trees are going to be in the image. Oh, actually this is going to go right here. Like that. And then the trees are going to go on top of that. Actually, I think I might take this and flip it down this way just because when I put my landscape on top of this, I can see more squares down here. There's a lot of black right here from the trees, and so I want the layering effect to happen uh, where you can actually see it. So I like the squares down there. So, okay. I'm going to add a little bit of water to my glue just to make it go on a little smoother. I still have water over there in my pan from earlier. So I'm going to just coat the whole piece with the glue. After the glue is all dry, you'll be able to see uh, the words a lot clearer through the layers, um, and it won't the glue won't be white anymore. So, this is what the finished product looks like, and uh, good luck, have fun.